С вами Ольга Ломака, и мы сейчас находимся в Лондоне. И моя сегодняшняя программа посвящена выставке «Роскошь итальянской моды. Периода 1945 по 2014 год», которая проходит в музее Виктория и Альберта. Это событие посвящено успешной деятельности итальянских дизайнеров за последние 70 лет. О том, каким был этот период в мире моды и кто стоял за истоками бессмертных фэшн-творений, нам поведает куратор выставки Сонет Стэнфилл, с которой я спешу на встречу. Добро пожаловать в мир искусства и моды! рассказывает о значительной роли Италии в истории мировой индустрии моды. Здесь представлены экспонаты, начиная с конца Второй мировой войны и по сегодняшний день. Роскошные материалы, искусная ручная работа с текстилем, мужская и женская одежда выполнены одинаково безупречно. Идеальное качество одежды всегда было характерной чертой итальянских производителей. An exhibition like this uh, requires several years of full-time work, and I've had the great privilege of traveling to over 30 archives in Italy and beyond to source uh, the loans uh, that have supplemented the V&A's own collection to put this exhibition together. What inspired you to choose this particular theme and this particular time period? I think what's been very rewarding in working on this exhibition is that the subject of Italian fashion from the post-war to the present hasn't been done yet in depth. We've looked at nearly 70 years of Italian fashion production and we've included not just women's fashion but also menswear, not just haute couture but also ready-to-wear and tailoring as well as we've layered in over half an hour of specially created and edited film content fashion photography fashion illustration so it, we hope that we're providing a kind of 360 degree view of italian fashion i know this show focuses not only on the well-known names, but also on the emerging talents. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about the new generation? Of course, and I think that's something we've really been so proud to be able to focus on, is the fact that there are young designers coming onto the scene. Um, somebody like Fausto Puisi, whose gown I'm wearing today, he is one of the passionate supporters of Made in Italy. He produces his silk in Como and his leather goods in Tuscany, and he basically spends all of his time in his car, driving from factory to factory, overseeing um, quality and production. And I think, um, as many people have said, if London is the laboratory for fashion, where does that leave Milan? And I think Milan is working very hard to try to um, reinvigorate its efforts to support younger design talent. If I'd had double the space in the exhibition, I would have included a lot more young designers, but we also have figures such as Stella Jean, as well as uh, figures such as Antonio Maras. And the last question. Who is your favorite Italian designer? A difficult one, I know. Uh, it's hard to say who my favorite designer is, um, but one of the things that this show does is uh, try to introduce young names to our visitors, and some of them will be very knowledgeable about fashion, but some will not be. And the designer that I'm wearing today, Fausto Puglisi, is someone who I think has a bright future ahead. And I'm absolutely delighted to be able to showcase his work in the show. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your time. Exposition consists of more than 100 complete clothes and accessories of famous Italian brands Dolce & Gabbana, Giorgio Armani, Prada, Gucci, Missoni, Pucci, Valentina and Versace. Также здесь представлены работы итальянских дизайнеров нового поколения. Наряды гаут-кутюр Аджам Батиста Валли, оригинальные изделия Фауста Пулисси и творение дизайнерского дуэта Мария Грация Киори и Пьера Паула Пичолли. Из 
история итальянской моды представлена лицами, именами, которые внесли неоценимый вклад в создание ее безупречной репутации, а также эталона качества и стиля. Интересно, что голливудские фильмы, съемки которых проходили в Италии, оказали значительное влияние на развитие итальянской моды в эпоху 50-х и 60-х. И такие звезды, как Обри Хэбберн и Элизабет Тейлор, стали олицетворением итальянского стиля.